organized crafter and we are here to finish up the altered violin plus canvas um and this is part two and i have on uh, the panel i have miss uh laurel and hi everyone I have miss telly who at moment is um muted but she's there <laughs> She's there. Her camera's working. Yay! Camera's working and everything. <laughs> so I am super excited that uh, she will be doing her version of the altar violin, which is more of a shabby chic version, and she will be working with clay um, molds and clay. Um, so with uh, let me go to the comments. There's Miss June. How you doing, Miss June? Yes, she's here, June. <laughs> so we're gonna hang out a little bit. Um, I, what I didn't do yesterday is I didn't add the wings on to the violin. Hey, Miss Victoria. Um, so what I did is I went ahead and added the wings on. And I added this metal flower. And I may ha add some more metal flowers. Yeah, I keep adding stuff. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Yeah, it, it, every time you look at it, it's like, oh, I'm going to do this. I try to not add too much to it. And I'm going to go ahead. And since uh, Miss Telly is going to be on today, I just went ahead and decided to gesso while we're on camera. And um, then she can do her. Um, version of it. I'm not added on my um, little wiry thing. <laughs> it was a circle thing and light bulb yet because I don't want to gesso them. I want them to kind of pop a little bit. I'm not sure. I'll see if after I get it on, if I decide I want to, I will. Um, Miss Laurel is uh, sorting beads and beading in the background. She's continuing to work on her lovely bracelet. Yep. Yep, and she um, is using her beads from BB Crafts, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and if you did not join us yesterday and you are interested in some of the mold designs that you see on this uh, guitar, you can find them at queenscraftfair.com. This, on this gorgeous violin. Yes, on this gorgeous violin. You called it a guitar. We don't want it. I don't want to go, what guitar? You're, you're doing a guitar now? Because it's too early. I'm still asleep. <laughs> there we go. Queenscraftfair.com. I'm still asleep. <laughs> because I decided not to go. Hey, Amy. Hi, uh, Amy. Uh, Amy said it looks great. And it looks like it's nearly done. Yes, Telly is muted uh, right now. She she uh, is on a phone conversation, so she will be joining us shortly. So you well, get to working on her clay. Maybe she doesn't know she's muted. Still, <laughs> can she hear us, Telly? Yeah, I don't know if she can hear us. We'll text her. <laughs> Let me see. Let's text her. Does she know she's muted? She'll text us if she knows. <laughs> Um, yeah, there you are. You know, you are muted because if she's talking this whole time, it'll be funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think she is using the Walmart brand, but we'll wait until she's unmute to let us know. So, one thing if, um, that I do want to, oh, wait a minute, I forgot to turn on my lights. <sighs> See, during the day, I don't know how to act. Don't turn oh, yeah. on. I don't have all mine on either. <laughs> so one of the things, if you're going to gesso after the fact, when everything is on, you're not going to get good coverage on some of your areas. So what it's called is stippling. And that's what you can do. You can use a paintbrush, a small, large, or whatever. If you just rub it back and forth, you're only going to sort of what they call dry brushing it. So you want to get all in these little grooves that you have um, to, to get it good coverage. So you want to pounce. 
So instead of, and I'll show you the difference. So if you're just rubbing back and forth, that's kind of what you're going to get. And you're, not, you're going to get um, globs of gesso in the um, creases and stuff. But if you do a little bit of stippling, you're going to get a, a slight better coverage. And you're not going to go get those uh, globs of stuff. And so you'll get the whole area covered. So that pretty much is the difference when you're doing it this way. Some people do not like gessoing after the fact. I don't mind. Because I like to see what everything's going to look like before I put it down. And then I have a habit anyway of messing up the already gessoed or painted items. <laughs> so I like doing it after the fact. I pulled his tail off. Uh oh. Oh, is that Telly? Hey, Telly. It's me. I don't oh. think Dad understood what in the world I was trying to explain to him about being live on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept right on a talking. <laughs> well, I tried to explain to the dogs what live being on YouTube was. I don't think they never. I don't think they understand either. <laughs> uh, okay, so um. June wants to know what type of clay you are using, um, Talise. I wanted the Iron, Iron Orchid Designs paper clay, but I, they didn't have that. So I got the Creative Paper Clay at oh. Michael's. See, I like that one actually better. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> no, and really? nothing, yeah, nothing wrong with the paper clay, but there's certain... Um, I guess there can be certain projects that paper clay would be more suited for, but for like the day to day using the mixed media, I prefer the um, Walmart brand actually. So, really? Yeah. Cool. Like, I like it so far. It's very easy to work with. Yeah, exactly. That that's that would be my thing. <laughs> very easy to work with. I tried to explain to Skelly, but he still fainted on air. Oh, <laughs> poor Skelly. Oh, has he been in the Tito's again? Skelly's been in the Tito's because he has not been sharing with me. <laughs> I needed to be in the Tito's last night. <laughs> Amy is asking, did you ever add the art stones around the word on the chin rest? Uh, I am going to do that when um, I'm going to put a little bit of glue and I'm going to use the art glitter glue because that will dry and art glitter glue will dry matte as well. And then um, and then mix that with the gesso and put it down. I'm putting the first coat because I'm going to do two coats of gesso. I'm just doing a light coat now and then dry it. And then I'm going to put one more coat down. And when I put the second coat down, that's when I'll put the art stones down. Because I want to give I want to give it a little bit of tooth to adhere to if I'm going to put it over the um, over some of the metal pieces. And that's what the gesso would do for you. Give you a little bit of tooth. So how was everyone's night? And is anyone crafting on this nice Sunday? Bear. And it's nice and cooler. Oh my God, y'all. I went Yay. out. Yes, finally. It's supposed to be like 93, 94 today here. Uh. Oh, wow. Oh, well, then that means, well, you should be getting cooler air. I don't know if the air is uh, it's supposed to be here in a few days. It's supposed to be high in the 60s. Yep. I'm anxiously awaiting that day. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the weather is coming from north or traveling west or east. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bless you. Woo. Trying to talk and sneeze at the same time. That doesn't go well. I had the weather channel on earlier, but then realized I needed to be watching Elvis. 
<laughs> all that talk of Elvis. <laughs> she had to go out. Right it. now, it it was on uh one of the Bunny Knock a Puko. GI Blues went off. Oh, I've seen GI Blues. Um, did y'all hear Felicia? What'd she say? She said she's jealous right now because I'm a YouTuber before her. Aww. <laughs> Wait a minute. What what would her channel be? I'm just curious. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Don't you just love that? You can always tell her. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Barbara said, hey, come. Hey, Miss Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Look at me. I feel like I got to yell all of a sudden. Like, like that makes a difference. Yeah. Emily Jean. I, um, I can hear Nikki and Laurel. Mm -hmm. There can be six people is the max that you can have live on the video. Yeah. Oh, does, does Felicia want to come on? Are you crafting, Felicia? No, I don't have it in my house. <laughs> ah, come on. You can do it. Be right now that I'm yeah, that's that's the one thing we inherited from Manny that the procrastination. <laughs> oh, that's my daughter. She she will she she'll wait to the last minute, but then she she'll come through in the end. <laughs> it's like a certain kind of person that. Because you know they have to be thinking about it the whole entire time. So, but, and I think she gets it from me because I'll sit there and and people at my job will always wonder how I do this. But I can be sitting there thinking about like this whole entire project and I can do a run through in my mind. And then just bust out in a couple of hours and finish my work. And they're like, how did you do that so fast? <laughs> I never tell them that. <laughs> yep, okay. never tell your secrets. I just say, oh, it's because I'm so smart. <laughs> Not. Oh, it's already open. These are still wet. I'm not waiting for them to dry. They're going to get oh, hold on. on. Let me click on you. Well, still wet. Okay, I'm clicked on you, Miss Miss Telly. With, You're with gorilla up. glue, wood glue. I'm just gessoing, so you do not have to wait for these things to dry. Really? To add them oh. on to your projects. I learned that on De Debbie's design diary. Huh. I usually let them dry. But I have no yeah. idea how to get my glue to work. <laughs> Pop the top up. The, it has a top that pulls up. I popped it up. And sometimes inside there's a little uh, piece of yeah, like paper that protects it when you first open it. Hi, Jean. Someone's saying hi, Penny, but I don't see Penny. Where's Penny? I see her. Yeah, Penny missed it yesterday. She fell asleep. Hi, Penny. Her. Hi, Jean. But I talked to her afterwards, and then I fell asleep on her. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. Penny. Okay. All right, let me look up Oil that chat. Oh, yes. Uh, so you are feeling better, Jean. I'm so happy. Everybody's getting sick. Yes. Jean was sick for a little bit, too. Okay, that's first coat. So I am going to mute a little while I dry. Your coat, your uh, gesso... Did you use uh, white gesso or did you use? I used white gesso, okay. and then I put a coat of chalk paint. That's what. That's what I was going to ask you because yours looks different from mine because 
Waverly Placer is the color. Oh. Yeah, bring bring up your violin. I'm sorry, bring up your violin a little bit. Yeah, it is a different. It looks it's kind different, of right. Yeah. It gives it a different look. Yep. It looks smoother, if you know what I mean. Oh, good thing. So chalk paint after gesso. Very good idea. I'm gonna mute while I dry. I'm bound and determined to get this uh, glue to work for me. If not, I will dip a paintbrush in it. <laughs> I will usually do that. Ah, um, there we go. Uh, Telly said to remember <laughs> that <laughs> burns are infractions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss June. Yes, I'm not playing with any glue today, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just on the heat gun. I'm finished gluing. Thank you, Jesus, because I burnt myself probably a couple of times last night. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Remember, hot glue is hot. <laughs> That's right. And if you glue your uh, your uh, skin, it's even hotter. <laughs> to try. Wait a minute, how did it flip back? Oh, Telly got kicked off. Uh oh. She'll be back in a minute. Okay. Yeah, that can happen from time to time too. Yeah, I did coat one. She'll be back in a minute. Hmm. Okay, so, oh crap, why does this always burn or always leak? So, I, evidently, I did not, uh, this is one of my favorite glues, Kalau, <laughs> and it leaked <laughs> and did a, oh. uh, did a glue ball <laughs> with air pockets. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, this, uh, when you're using, um, glue on mixed media projects. You want to make sure that you use um, glue that um, that is not. Uh, what do I want to say? Does that glue you just had that you said leak? Does it have acetone in it, Nikki? Oh yeah. And that's why you can't. That's why it's leaking. Don't ever let it lay on its side. Yeah. So yeah, this one does not react to water. Water soluble. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, Jean says, any kits in the store, Nikki? New kits? Uh, they will be in tomorrow. I swear, Jean, they will be in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm working on them right now. <laughs> See, I'm working hard, getting content oh. out. Chipping. Jean says, you were very quiet about being burned last night, Nikki. I did watch the rest of it today. Burnt fingers in silence. That may be a double infraction. <laughs> oh, wow. I got a double? Oh, crap. Darn it. So so if I uh, lie about getting, well, if I hide about getting burnt, you get an infraction. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I can't even hide it yeah i got it slightly burnt last night okay so what i'm doing i put some glue in there i'm going to mix me up some art stones and i'm going to use the regular art stones and i'm going oh she's back there she is welcome back thank you okay it's back on you i dropped a mouse. Oh, <laughs> and it kicked her out. Yep. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put it on all three of them. So just, to, just to give you an idea of how tedious this is, I've used almost six yards of this um, fishing line already. Oh, oh wow. wow. Is that fishing one? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's not plastic fishing line. It's actually really good fishing line. It's like uh, 
it's almost like a wax coated, really durable thread. And what's nice is like, if you take it and you bend it, it stays. So wow. when you're beading it, when you pull it tight, it actually holds all the beads in place really nicely. Oh, wow. But yeah, it's super strong and super durable and yeah. But I've used Marlon. almost yards already. My husband is an avid fisherman. Yeah, I, I started fishing when I was four. I can catch, clean everything, my own fish. Yep. My favorite is a uh, walleye. Oh. I yeah, can nice. remember being six, seven years old and skinning catfish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flounder. The hardest fish to um clean and stuff is northern, but it is a really good eating fish and a really good fighting fish to catch. Walleye are very boring to catch. They sit at the bottom and it feels like you hit a rock. <laughs> and you just have to drag them in. Uh, Amy said, uh, it's super awesome to catch salmon and trout. Oh, yeah. Trout. Well, you know, the easiest way to catch trout is when they're mating. <laughs> <laughs> they're busy. Plus, they come along the shoreline. I used to go deep sea fishing with my grandfather, him and his, uh, his grandpa crew, I used to call them. And they would go uh, once a month and they rent a boat and uh, go out deep sea fishing. And um, so we were usually off the uh, uh, Atlantic Ocean or it was our uh, Chesapeake Bay is what we have where all, we can get some good crab. So we go crabbing too. But um, but also deep sea fishing, and oh my god, it was so much fun. I really, really miss those days. Never been deep sea fishing. Oh yeah, it's been a it's few years since so, I've done any fishing. It's so relaxing. The furthest I go is to Hayward, Wisconsin, um, off La Couture. They have a musky festival every year. A what festival? For musky, they have a thing that goes on for catching the biggest musky. It's uh -huh. like one of the hardest fish to catch. And I don't think I've ever heard of that one. What? Really? Oh, uh, Barbara, uh, we are doing um, it's a it's a um, Carolers hat kit um, as part of the Christmas kit. Um, we were trying to wait until it got October time frame since we were trying to finish up the advanced uh, kit. As soon as uh, Crystal feels better, she will be uh, start uh, getting that together. Um, but those, the Christmas kit will be a shadow box. It will be the Carolers hat. You'll have a variety of ornaments. Um, it will include um, uh, a star ornament, round ornament, rocking horse. Um, you'll have uh, Christmas tissue paper, the glass glitter paste, the um, uh, red um, stickles that I use. Um, it's going to be a lot of stuff. Ribbon. So it's going to be a big kit. We're um, finishing that up. You know, it w there was, you know, so much new stuff that was coming out and ordering. We tried to make sure we don't um, kill people's pockets. <laughs> so, yep, we're finishing that one up. And then the um, uh, intermediate, once we get past all the, the Christmas and... Uh, Stuff, then we'll start with the advanced glass. Yep, a lot going on. Now those roses, Julie's. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. 
And that's from the mold um, from Joann's or Walmart. Walmart. Ew. It was in their, their fondant area several years ago. Oh, don't look. So don't look for it, right? <laughs> Walmart might not have it, but I'm pretty sure it's still available. I'd have to look to see where you could get it at, but it's that name brand. I don't even yeah. see it on here. Yeah, the rocking horse is a cute little rocking horse, uh, Barbara. It's uh it's about five inches. It's, it's so cute. That's just something I had to have. Oh, and I think there's some sleighs. <laughs> um, but we had a whole bunch of extra sleighs because you have to order a certain quantity. So we got enough for the kit and then we put the rest in the store. So you can uh, kind of see what the uh, sleighs were going to look like because um, they're in the store. And I think, have you, you seen, oh, I don't think Telly's seen the entire kit. Can I show it to you, Telly? I don't think so. I've seen some of the stuff, but that was a while back that you was talking about putting in it. Yeah. See, there. I need like a second person to just be at the house all day long doing stuff. I'll tell them how to craft, and they can do my crafting for me. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be any fun. What fun would that be? And then I just. You stay home and craft and send them to work. Right. There you go. I actually like work. I'm, I'm one of those those uh, uh, crazy people. I actually like work. And the, what the funny thing is, is that I'm glad that my boss has known me for so long because um, we had this new uh, deputy director come on and um, he's like, oh, can you do this? Can you get this? And can you do this? So my boss took him aside and she was like, um, just tell her what you need done and she will do it. Don't, don't, uh, what do you call it? Nickel and dime her to death. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my boss knows me so well. <laughs> That's Cause, cool. Yes, because I hate, like, if I ask, her, like, I'm assuming that you are a professional and that you are at the point um in your career where you know what you're doing so when someone comes in and uh and uh kind of is like oh can you do this for me and then proceeds to tell you how to do it oh i i hate that <laughs> right don't mess with lady soup on a cold day right <laughs> but is joanne, um, is joanne in the chat uh oh no she's not hold on let me text joanne separately she might be at church um, like we know everybody's business around here it's like yeah where's your oh she's at church where's jim oh she went out she'll be back in a minute she'll join us in half an hour Um, but yeah, that, that, that I cannot stand. So I'm glad I have a boss that understands me. <laughs> That's so, good. I would go crazy. I mean, I love my job too, but if I had a choice to craft all day or work, <laughs> well, I, think, I, think I would choose craft all day. I, I kind of, I, it's like you, for me, it's like, uh, it's two kind, two different types of mental, um, what do you call it? Stimulation. Yeah, stimulation. Like, um, I need the the uh, the numbers game. Right. And I need the crafting as well. It's like I have to have both. And if I do, like, I've been home for a couple of weeks on vacation, and all I've done is craft, and then I find myself um, coming up with spreadsheets for work <laughs> <laughs> and putting that. So I think I have to have both. And if I don't, I think um, that that was going to drive me crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Like some people, 
and some people it's perfectly fine to sit home and craft. And because it because like with you, you do a whole bunch of different crafts. So I think that's different. I don't do sewing and beading and stuff like that. So I can't I couldn't switch from one to to another to keep my mind occupied. Right. Like I do the paper crafts and the mixed media. And um, but I think if I got into sewing, I think I may change my mind. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip to me. I already put on the beady beads and they're very indiscriminate. So all the beady beads are on there. And then I'm gonna put the second thing of gesso. And I'm gonna and that was awesome. Yeah. And then once you do your, your coating of uh, gesso and then start your sprays, then and also and you know, I'll take a little bit of the silver wax or the um Crafter's Companion and do um, the highlights and stuff. So you'll see that process. I don't believe I have to add more thread again. Oh. <laughs> All right. Back to Telly. I'm still adding little paper clay pieces. But you know, so I, and I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I know some of our viewers um very well and they like the process um that's why um it, you know if you're new to the um channel and you see me going into drawing out explanations and you're like well i already know that well some people just like to hear you know kind of your take and how you do stuff and um your process because i know when i was um first starting out in mixed media i would go in the a lot of the people that I watched were the ones that were that um, explained. Yep. <laughs> and then once I started doing mixed media, then <clears throat> I would skip over their explanations and get to the end of their project. <laughs> <laughs> My process is. And I broke that one. Mr. Joanne is here. Yay. Hi, Joanne. Hello, Barbara. Hello, June. Hello, everybody in the chat, which I can't see. <coughs> um, Is there, Jean? If you go up to the top and you hit live comments instead of private chat, unless you can't see it because of where your computer is at. Yeah. It'll show the YouTube chat? Yeah. Yeah. It, click wow. on the one that says live comments. Wow. <laughs> She's like, what? Oh my God. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <You're> <laughs> I would have never figured that out. Oh, thank you, Jean. Jean says she loves uh, uh, our classes uh, that we do and that we do them very well. Yeah, I try to, we try to do, um, explain every step. So even if um, you, you're you already there, because Jean's very advanced as well, but there's some steps that you may not know or didn't know that may benefit to you. So we try to go over every step for every sort of uh, level. Yeah, Jean's blue string that got gessoed down <laughs> well i guess that's going to add texture there you go <laughs> yeah i like the uh, art glitter glue uh i used now ultimately um you if you were if i would have remembered to put the art uh art stones on last night then i would have used the matte gel but if you don't remember and you want a quick dry, use the uh, Art Glitter Glue, AGG. Um, and it's matte and it works just as well as the um, soft, matte, soft matte gel in a pinch. And you can get it to dry within like five to 10 minutes. Oh, Crystal's here. Where's Crystal? I see, hi, Crystal, hi, Crystal, hi, Crystal. 
Hi, Crystal. I'm just saying hi, Crystal, because. Oh, Crystal Castle. Hey, Crystal Castle. How you doing? What you working on? How's your Sunday going? Lord bless everyone. It is Sunday. So if you've been to church, hope you got your prayers in. That's where Dad was fixing the head, too. <laughs> Uh, plus everyone has their own style method and watch. Oh, and he said everyone has their own style method too. So watching someone else can make you learn something new. Correct. Yes, can. My husband just walked in here with an envelope in his hand. Oh, and it had hair in it. What? Ron's first haircut. Aww. Aww. 69. He was born in 68. Well, that's 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 way back. Yeah, I guess you look great right with the envelope there, dude. <laughs> They're going through photos and stuff. Oh, yeah, I love going through old photos. I'm like a, I think that's why I like um, period films. Um, I like old photos, old books. I, I, and probably people that do like the junk journaling stuff, they're into the the uh, historical mm -hmm. uh, things as well. Because, like, I could go to in school, I can go to all my classes and half pay attention. But we got the history class, and I was all up in there. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then they're like, uh, and. And it wasn't the American history. It was because American history, you know, there's it's it was 200, you know, years at the time. So you can learn 200 years in two months or whatever. You won't be an expert. But it was the um, the European um, history that always fascinated me. I loved history. I guess that's oh, why I yeah. majored in it in college. Yeah, I minored in a, uh, a little bit of it. It was just, it was a European civilization and, um, and it was just the movement of, of the people. Like, it's like, where did they come from? I'm like, what are people like, how did they get here? <laughs> where did they move from? Why do they speak different languages? Like, seriously. <laughs> oh. Penny said she loves looking at my own baby photos but it's so hard to get to the cave to see the wall paintings <laughs> oh my god pity <laughs> how did everyone else well uh oh so, crystal said it's just been working my life away oh yeah i do the same thing crystal <laughs> So you yeah, have to take time to do your crafting and for you. Like, even though I know I got to do laundry, I want to finish this because if I don't finish it all week long, I'll be like thinking about this, this, uh, violin. <laughs> yeah. Mine's in the wash. It should be done. I will go down in a minute and throw it in the dryer. Yeah, I did a uh, blanket. I usually do blankets, rugs, bathroom rugs towels and everything on saturday and because that's gonna because i do all of them all the time right with the dogs so that's that's a feat and then um and then on sundays i'll do my work clothes oh, yeah didn't see that <laughs> It's all clicked on you, so yes, June did probably did see it. <laughs> <laughs> you you <I> don't hot. <laughs> <laughs> nothing gets past Amy, June, Barbara, uh, Jean, uh, <laughs> any of the ladies that show up. Nothing gets past them. I'm in trouble, then. Yeah, you're yeah, you're definitely in trouble. <laughs> and oh, by the way. This I don't know if it really is, but is this your first YouTube video? Oh, that's so exciting! 
tell you. I've been on live with y'all before. But, but we are featuring you. Yeah. <laughs> Joanne, this is the mold that I used for the crown. That's big. It's pretty good size. Did, hey, wait a minute. Can you mold that for me and send it to me? Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that is really pretty. Three dollars on AliExpress. Oh wow! Yep, their molds are priced really well. Okay, that's where my most of my stuff comes from. If it's not Prima, it's it's, that, it's uh, across the pond. Yes, everybody's saying yay, Telly. And June said it's a hidden infraction. <laughs> yes, June. This is. This is her. She's been on with us before, but she hasn't been on and doing a project from start to finish. So this is actually her first. That's what I'm sticking to. Oh. <laughs> All right. I got a little bit more drying to do, and then I'm going to give it another coat. Nikki 3, Lorette Telly gets a free pass on anything she does. What? Oh, <laughs> I free, no infractions, no matter what I do. Not fair. <laughs> Not fair. I'm I'm gonna call that you are impartial to Telly. <laughs> okay, so I wish. The only thing that I wish, and I think I'm going to uh, send Streamyard to comment, is that you. you can like, okay, like when we have it like this, so it's, oh, let me take the banners off. Just in case everybody knows that's Morel, that's Telly, which is me. <laughs> but that you can choose who is featured in the big screen. You know? I, I wish I was the one in Lorel's screen. <laughs> I know, right? I can't do that beating like that. Oh, Felicia has a spatula. What's she cooking? <laughs> oh my God, you've gotten far since I clicked on you to uh, me. Oh, Telly, yeah. No, I'm you, oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, I have gotten far. <laughs> oh Lord, it's almost it's done. Fun. I got about a quarter of an inch left to do. Oh wow. Thank you. Okay, Felicia found a recipe for a banana nut bread cheesecake. What? Uh, Felicia? Instead of crust, it's banana nut bread. Okay, Instead well. Of the, crust, the crust is banana nut bread. Well, you need to uh, post that in um, on Facebook and send it to me personally. And then we'll put it in Crazy Crafters. That sounds good. <laughs> Oh, I need more clay. That's not big enough. <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. I'm willing this piece of string to work, but I already know I'm going to have to add on in that. I just hate doing that. All right, I'm going to click on all three of us. So. Oh, come on. Um, so, uh, June says it's her first from beginning in. You are a professional. Oh, okay. So you only get it for today, um, Telly. So you, you don't get any you don't get any free passes after today. <laughs> Everybody's saying it looks great, Terrell. Um, Laurel, Terrell. Thank you, ladies. I'm putting this. I'm getting a new name today. I'm now Terrell. So I don't have to say T Telly and Laurel together. I just say Terrell. Right. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm sure my face was not cute. That was not the angle I wanted. There you are. Oh Lord. Oh. Yes, Amy. Um, she will. Uh, police will be providing that recipe to us all, won't you, Terry? Yes, <laughs> That's mom to you, dear. <laughs> She's like, darn it! I can't get away with it. Veronica bought a golf cart. What? Yeah. For what? To ride around on. <laughs> and they brought it over. <laughs> so oh. I think that's what kids and grandkids are fixing to be doing. 
to riding on the golf cart. Watch out for the panther. <laughs> yeah. Have y'all seen it lately? No. I think it roams a wide area. I'm beginning to wonder if it's the same one that was Miss Juanita caught on camera on her back porch. Do you think it can, do you think it uh, mates uh, or it comes over there to mate? Maybe there's another one. Well, Miss Juanita loves animals and she keeps um, food and water on her airport. Oh. And some, a huge bowl of water and a huge bowl of cat food. And something oh. was coming up during the night and drinking all of the water and eating all of the food. So they put a game cam up. Oh, and called a panther. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, panthers got to eat too. <laughs> yeah, as long as he's not eating um other animals. Then. Yeah, and she's got dogs out there, and it has not bothered anything. Wow. Well, because he was getting his food elsewhere. Yeah. I don't know if that was satisfying to him, but <laughs> yeah. hopefully. Right? Okay, back on uh, Miss Telly. I have molded a wing. There we go. And I think the wings, I'm going to let dry a bit before I add them. Now for the, um, the mold um, that you get from Walmart, um, once you cast them, do you know how long it takes them to dry? Well, I think the paper clay, it said to really get it really dry completely is 24 hours. But you can paint and dress yeah, it and can, do all that before. They just go crazy with this stuff. They don't wait for it to dry. Oh, I've seen them. Well, they like putting it on furniture, like dressers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they add it onto the furniture while it's still wet. And a lot of times they overlap like drawers. So then after they applied it they can cut it where the drawer opens mm -hmm. and you can open the drawer and not damage the the molds oh wow well it's pretty sturdy yeah i'm fixing to paint my kitchen cabinets and they're gonna get some molds <laughs> yeah i'm thinking of doing i have this gray um three drawer dresser um, that I use for a uh, side table in my bedroom. So now that the, you know, with the Prima redesign mold that came out, um, I put a couple of them next to them and I think that I can do a pretty darn good job with uh, some of them. So I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. Well, I highly recommend watching Debbie's Design Diary. I think I have her. Because, and uh, Jamie Ray Vintage, mm -hmm. they do furniture and it, they just do gorgeous stuff. Uh, Dion Woods. Who cool. pretty uh, panthers would rather eat the dogs? Laughing panthers don't eat cat food. Well, Penny, this one did. <laughs> They rather she said they rather eat uh dogs. Well, I'm thinking this one um like the cat food. But if there was no food around, it might be like desperate measures kind of thing. <laughs> you know, cat food is very high in protein. Yes, it is. <laughs> so it must be what it needs. <laughs> Well, dogs aren't supposed to eat rocks, but I have one that loves rocks. He's getting something out of that rock. <laughs> well, we had one that hated rocks and would go and get them and chew on them. And just because he hated them, he was angry with them. Really? That dog was nuts. Kind of like Ava. Hated my car. <laughs> and my headlights quit working. And... My husband said something has gotten under here and chewed the wires to your headlights. <laughs> and it kept happening and he kept having to repair it. And then he looked outside and the dog was hanging out from under the front of the car. <laughs> now that was in that bucket. Oh my Munching goodness. away. 
on the wires to my headlights. <laughs> Uh, June said you can see where um, you can paint them right away. She goes, she prefers to let them dry. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of uh, like it when it's dry. I have not really done a lot of uh, paper clay use, which is I love my resin, but I have a pack from Walmart and I do have the Prima. So I'm going to use it and see how it goes. I, now I've used it once and I did not use do a great job with it so i need a little bit more practice off camera <laughs> i'm not crazy about this particular mold but i'm using i need my cinnabar mold uh -oh. that i got from queen's craft Fair. good plug wink wink <laughs> 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 It's still strange when people say it. It's like, what? This one is my favorite so far. Royalty. I love this one. Yes. So much. I like that one too. You know what? I, and I actually can do the little bees now. I'm not I'm not being an over poor. <laughs> with the resin but it comes out fantastic with the clay but yeah you got to be careful when pouring resin with it on the b part well you know this one is the prima redesign it's not the iod and iod molds have a little lip a little ledge around the edges of their molds yep they do make it you know easier when you're pouring resin to not go over yeah. <laughs> it's cool yeah i noticed that but i kind of um so it's like for grins and giggles and may not be everybody's grin and giggle but for me it was um i went and i pour water into the iod mold and then i poured it into a cup Oh, and then, wow. yeah, to figure out how many ounces I needed for that particular mold. And then I write it on the back of the mold because I waste so much resin. Oh, wow. So, great idea. yep. So, just a tip, y'all when you get molds in um, before you um, use them for resin, just um, pour water in it and then just pour it back out. Or you can. Um, uh, keep track of how much you can start off at an ounce and then, you know, kind of work your way up and then measure how much you put in there. But either way it works and just write it on the back and, and permanent marker so that if you uh, know you're going to be doing uh, three molds or whatever, then you know how much resin you're going to be using. So you don't waste it. Cause I like my supplies, but I'm very conservative with them. <laughs> Oh, resin's expensive. Yeah. Oh, I can. I, you know how they say you can just stretch a uh, stretch a penny. Yeah, I can stretch a craft supply. <laughs> uh, thank you, Miss Barbara. Yeah. Yes. Right, Amy. Uh, yeah, that didn't come to me until after I've wasted a whole bunch of resin and I was because I had gotten new molds, especially those little uh, small molds because. You literally only need um, a teaspoon um, of part A and part B. So I actually keep, uh, well, I think they're, um, what are they, the wax scoops? I'll go get it and show it to you. But I, um, from uh, across the pond, I got the, um, the wax scoops and I use that as like an ounce or a teaspoon. And so I can use them for um, uh, beads, or you can use them for um, resin or whatever. But it works. You need one, and you'll need one for part A, and then you'll need one for part B. Let me go find them. While we watch Miss Teddy. Okay, I think 
think I'm, I'm just going to click and show them I'm all done with the, um, with the gessoing. So we have the BD beads on there. <laughs> if you've got a favorite container that you like to use on your, to mix your gesso in, and you don't want to have to end up throwing it away. If you've got a little bit of resin still in it, if you stick a popsicle stick in it and let it get almost dry and hard, and when you pull that popsicle stick out, it pulls all of that leftover resin out with it. Yep, always, yeah, whatever you're using to mix your resin with, <clears throat> excuse me, then um, just leave it in there. When I go to the store for coffee, um, Starbucks or wherever, you know those little stir sticks? I always grab a whole bunch. They're great for stirring resin. <laughs> Okay, let me go get that little scoop and I'll show you. I might have to do this little crown in resin because it's not going to come out as one piece. Yep. Nope. Oh, well. I tried. I love that big crown on there, Kelly. That looks awesome right there. I searched and searched for the biggest bowl, crown mold I could find. Yeah, that looks really cool right there. Yeah. I, th I think you got one in and you didn't like it. <laughs> I wish it was bigger. I really did want one bigger. <laughs> that's, a, that's a perfect size, though. I love that and detailed. And three. Do you, remember, do you remember the picture I sent you from Michael's that yes. frame? Yes. I wanted one that size so I could recreate that frame. Oh, I I searched high and low. I could not find it. They had these crown molds at Michael's. They were actually pretty cheap too. And could not find it anywhere. Oh, thank you, Miss Barbara. Uh, Penny says she's begging Tony to run to Trader Joe's and get some pumpkin ginger brew. Ooh. Since he stole your soup, <laughs> he should. Okay, let me show it. So I use these little scoops. You're supposed to be able to, and these are from uh, Allie, and you're supposed to put. Uh, um, wax in them and put them over top of flame or uh, heat them up and then you can pour the wax. But yeah, they are using those things on envelopes. Uh, the yeah, seal. seal for seal. seal. Yeah. Um, I don't do that, but <laughs> but it's also good for here's your beady beads. Yep. Scooping and pouring. And they're not, and they don't go all over the place. So, and then also when you want to uh, do uh, beads as well, they work with that or embossing powder. So, um, I'm going to use it for that. But I also got extra because when you're doing, and um, let me see if I can find a mold that's that small. Um, oh, here we go. When you're doing really, really small molds, like here's a small mold, you don't even need an ounce of resin. So if you just do, and we'll do this with water. I'm knocking stuff over. If you just move that aside, because I am. If you just put like a bit of uh, part A or a bit of part two, I mean, that fills up the whole mold. 
that and that I think this measures to about a teaspoon. So you know you'll need half of this for part A and half of this for part part B, and you're not wasting unless you do a whole bunch of molds at the same time. And then, oh, if you use this method to measure your mold, just kind of squeeze it together and pour it back out and you won't waste in it. I'm gonna turn it upside down so you'll dry it. <laughs> but that's kind of how I do it. So I was using a teaspoon, but then I thought, oh, this, I don't know if the resin was gonna eat the plastic or anything like that. So that's why I got the metal one. Or I think they have silicone. And are cute too. <laughs> Sorry, back to Kelly. <laughs> oh, that's looking good. I'm going to start adding some paint so that it'll all be one color. Maybe. Now, do you prefer like, you know, some people when they're adding like resin and, and clay and stuff like that, they like painting underneath um, as they put the layers on rather I than. Mean... Hey, <laughs> uh, rather than um, waiting and painting the whole thing over like I just did. Hmm. I'm probably going to do what you did, just, but then I painted it already, so <laughs> the crown is going to need another layer of paint. Yeah, and I think it's just kind of personal preference, um, and depending on the project as well. Yeah, some projects are going to need that extra Hey, Miss Christine. What you doing today? Hi, Christine. Finally got the camera to work. <laughs> Yay! We're so happy. The rail to the rescue. <laughs> yes, it was. It was the rail's uh, excellent um, uh, PM. Takes me a minute. Sometimes it's hard when you're in a chat and you're trying to figure out what's going on. You don't want to ask a thousand questions, but the minute I didn't see you, I'm like, oh, I think I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today is October 6th. Does that mean Martha is on her way home? Uh, yes, it should be. I was going to mention that last night, but I haven't heard from her, so I didn't want to say anything. But supposedly, Martha is on her way home. What do you want to bet? As soon as she gets home, she's going to go live. She's going to live. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I bet you as well. Where yeah. did you say you got the spoons at, Nikki? Uh, uh, I got them at uh, Allie. Who was that? Yeah. Joanne. Did you want one, Joanne? Alley Express can be quickly become an addiction. Oh, it is an addiction. You just don't know. <laughs> I mean, I try and help out my fellow crafters and and uh, Etsy stores as much as I can, but you know, I'm not rich, and I go with what I can afford. <laughs> exactly. And, I'm usually aware. You know, and half the stuff that you buy here in the stores, you know, people say, well, you need to buy it here in the stores. Well, the markup they put on it here is insane. It's the same stuff. And if you look at the back of the package in the store, it says made in China. So <laughs> what's the difference? I'm just cutting out that middleman. Yeah, but they're like the only thing that I won't buy is stuff that is copied. No, I will not buy that either. I do not buy anything they copy. Mm -mm. 
because you got people out here uh, working hard to get their yep. out. And I think that is the worst thing. But like those little spoons and stuff like that, you know, like I think I got a, um, a, uh, uh, what is that little taco press or, or pasty press? <laughs> Cause I like making, um, empanadas. Mm. So I got a little press and, uh, apple, little apple pies. Cause I love the apple pies from, um, freaking, um, Popeye's. So I figured if I can do an apple pie filling and then um, either put it in the air fryer so you don't get the grease and then cover it with the cinnamon sugar. Oh, my gosh. I can make my own. There you go. That's what I'm going to try. Oh, uh, Amy said she couldn't have said it better herself. Well, oh, thank you, Amy. Okay, um, Joanne, I'll send it in your um, stuff. All right. Okay, so while she is trying to uh, make sure y'all see everything, so I'm just going to put it like this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start spraying. I have um, I had gotten some puppy pads. You know, I might have already said this, but <laughs> I got some puppy pads. Um, for the most part, craziness didn't need it. Let me get the... Uh, Oops, sorry. Yep, everything is nice and dry and adhered down. I will be right back. I'm going to mute and go put my stuff in the dryer. Okay. I have clothes tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so this is, if you hadn't, uh, let me go out a little bit. This is the uh, canvas that we did last night. And this is going to fit right over top of here. So and this wasn't meant to be the focal point. So yeah, it's kind of our faces. You can still see it, but it's not as prevalent. Everything is dried. Gorgeous. I know. I love these colors. They actually <laughs> match my living room a little bit with the burgundy. Um, so even though I don't like pink all that well, I like pink, but not in, in like a lot of amounts. <laughs> like, as the distant focal point. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not a pinky girl. So, um, so, so I thought that I was going to do the violin darker and then the canvas lighter, but the canvas ended up being a little bit darker. So now we're going to go ahead and try to lighten this up because I don't want both of them to be like mono and mono, you know, the same color. So we want a little bit of variation. So, and yeah, I do love how this came out. And there is some metallic sparks to it. So I don't think I'm going to mess too much more with this background <laughs> until after I get this on here. And it, uh, once I finish this and attach it to the canvas, um, I'm going to use the um, soft matte gel to attach it to the canvas. It'll take overnight again to dry. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, the dogs are quiet in the background. They are awfully quiet. Awfully <laughs> <laughs> quiet. I, Did you give I, them Benadryl? <laughs> oh, that was a good idea. No, I um, I gave them. Um, I cooked the uh, chili mac for them, <laughs> and I ate early. And so I uh, took some of the ground beef. Um, before I seasoned it and chopped it up and put it in their uh, food, <clears throat> excuse me, which made them eat all their food. Oh, yep. So they're they're, they're stuffed. <laughs> they are stuffed and sleep. It's that after dinner nap. <laughs> so now, oh, so now I know how to treat them. So then afterwards, I'm going to decide if I'm going to put on the rust effect. Um, on the violin a little bit, so because it's it's kind of like afterwards, and you look at it and you're like, ah, yeah, I can do for a little bit here and there. We'll see. 
So we are going to use, okay, so Lindy's is having a challenge and, um, <clears throat> and let me see if I can bring it up because I want to read it correctly. And um, I've, I, I'll do a couple of challenges here and there um, just to challenge myself. So their mood board is pink, orange, and coral. So the colors that I've cho chosen are the saltwater taffy on the Lindy spray. Um, I've chosen the canna lily burnt orange. And I've chosen the wild honeysuckle coral. And um, this is all but the saltwater taffy. I used on the canvas last night. The pink that I used last night was the Rambling Rose pink and the um, yeah Rambling Rose pink. Um, but then I darkened it up with the blues and the purples. So the color palette is just the light pink or orange coral or pink. And um, you, they don't you don't have to um, use a specific one. It's just those colors. And pretty much they, theirs is very simple. Just use those colors in your in your project. And you can use uh, embossing powder or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do. And y'all know this is a serious challenge for me because I don't use pink, I don't use light colors, and I dare don't sure don't put them all together. <laughs> oh, uh, let me see. Amy said she was asking what was the name of them so I can try and find them. Oh, oh, okay, Amy. I I'm sorry. Let me um let me how about um I I will text them and put them in the group um uh chat after this show. Cause I do have um still. So I'm going to start off with the saltwater taffy. And I'm going to see. I love the saltwater taffy. That's a very yeah, I'm hoping I don't spray all around. And I do want to highlight this pink. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a box. <laughs> I just sprayed my screen. <laughs> Hold on, peoples. Where's my back? Yeah, because if nothing else, I am a mess. I can create mess like nobody's business. <laughs> well, this works because then I can. That's why I keep diaper wipes, and somewhere over here around me is a bottle of eyeglass cleaner. <laughs> well, I do keep diaper wipes and I keep uh, alcohol so just in case because I use a lot of uh, alcohol based uh, products so that alcohol will get it up. Um, she duct taped her fur flap. No, I did not, Penny. <laughs> Penny said I duct taped her fur flap close. <laughs> I did not. Or I'm claiming I have not. No. <laughs> no, they literally are. <laughs> I just fed them too much. Now, I will tell you, I absolutely love this wild honeysuckle coral. Let me see if I can get this at a better angle as I'm spraying it. And then I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to put some coordinating colors on it. Ooh. You know what's my new favorite color now? 
that can and lily burnt orange. Uh-oh. I feel a fur rubbing against me. Somebody has to stop. Uh-oh. Hey, it's in my chair. They're saying, um, mom, dessert. Right. <laughs> Saying what? They want dessert. Yeah, they want some dessert. It's dessert oh. time. Yeah, it's bone time, huh? Ooh, I freaking love that. Um, that burnt orange. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I have that color. That, that was part of the uh, Victorian um, bouquet. And Jean, I think, has the torn bouquet. So if you want to check it out. Hey, June, I did not burn myself with hot glue that time. <laughs> sure, you didn't. Sure. Okay, I lost the cat. All I got to do is wait for the dog to find it. <laughs> I love that burnt orange. Ooh. Oh, shoot. I hear shaking. So they're starting to wake up. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I hurt too soon. Infraction, infraction. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> if Gene will, if June won't give it to you, I will. <laughs> ow, 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 again. Okay. See, she's a multiple infractioner. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those colors. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my colors are yours. I'm yours. yours. I don't have so, no color yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving the burnt orange, so. And you have to do several layers with this Lindy's. And the metal actually turns a different color than where it's been um, when the regular just so pieces. Which is strange. Okay, I don't want to, let me mute. Let's see if I can burn myself with hot glue gun again. That's where you look frozen to me, Tommy. Your picture's not moving. Yeah, I seem to be frozen. But you're still here. That's so weird. Yeah. Hmm. You might have to just go out of the little box and come back in. I'll try turning the camera off and turning it back on. Oh, she's frozen? Yeah. She's here, but she's frozen. That's so weird. It's still frozen. You can um, go out and come back in and see if that works. And then I'll look for her to see if she's in. Yeah, I'm loving that burnt orange. And it looks so funny on the um, on the metal pieces. It gives it a oh, wait a minute. here she. Is. There you go. There we go. Now she's not frozen. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm also going to add a little burnt sienna to the edges and in some of the creases, so that we got one of the base colors down. Then I'm gonna start playing. Oh, wait a minute. I need to do this. Look! Pink! I forgot what I was doing. Barbara! Joanne! Pink! <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Look at all that ink. <laughs> We're back. Lap's over. One time is. Oh, sorry. Amy R. These sprays with that. Oh, yes. Um, one of them is, and one of them's not. The. Um, uh, let me see. Nope, Starburst. Yeah, they're all Starburst, which means they have the sparkle in it. But you really, it's not that strong of a sparkle. These aren't the flat. Oh, gracious. Where's my, there we go. Trying to find my, um, Thing. There we go. So these are all the starbursts. So they do have the uh, little bit of shimmer in them. I don't know if you can see it, but yes, they do have shimmer. I figured y'all love the pink. <laughs> And you know, I don't think mine's gonna have any pink on it. <laughs> what? What yeah. is it so? Gold and blue is what I'm thinking of. Ooh, my favorite color. So that is strange. Nikki's doing pink and Kelly's doing blue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dry this and then we're gonna put a little browns in here. Now the bow, I glued pearls on. Um, yeah, if, if it was like, uh, if it didn't have any of the uh, shimmer or anything in it, um, I don't, because uh, the eyeshadow is mica powder anyway. So if there's no shimmer in it, uh, it should work for a spray. We can, if we have enough time, I'll go grab some eyeshadow because I don't wear makeup at all, but for some reason I have makeup. I'll go grab some. I think it came in the Fab Fit Fun box that I had. I love that box. I stopped this subscription and I really want to start it up, but I can't justify the expenditure now. <laughs> it was a choice. Craft supplies or Fab Fit Fun? Press plus. Right. Press always went out. <laughs> tell tell it twice in a row. You're you're pushing the non-infraction pass. <laughs> Am I froze again? Uh, move your hand around. You might be. Well, it's not like me today, does it? Yeah, you might have to come out and come back in. Yeah, the windows does take a little bit longer to dry. That's why we really, really must have, uh, should have whatever you're working on to be fully dry before you start using it. Okay, this is absolutely important. I need to use, I have like three mats sitting here. Why can't I just pull out a mat? <laughs> No, no. Timmy. Ooh, Timmy, Matt, Queen. That's okay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. And I have a puppy licking my feet. Really? <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. To be mad ain't clean, but we're going to use it. Also, if you find any spots that absolutely won't dry, just take a tissue and dab it. Oh, they're back. Okie dokie. And it's not even a full. I love the pearls and the bow strings to least. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Hey. You were talking about eyeshadow. And this is eyeshadow. Uh-huh. Oh, you're using eyeshadow. Hey, there you go. I think she's using eyeshadow. Are you just painting it on and watering it or what? Yeah, I'll spray it here and just be it. There you go. Baby. Since it's a powder, it'll just sit right up there until you do whatever you want to do to it. Hey, Joanne. Yours said no contest. Always craft supplies. Yep, charms are up. I wonder if I got any more hamburger left. Oh, let me go look for the Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I forgot to glue that in the moment. I'm doing is I mixed up some uh, liquid acrylic burnt sienna and I'm just dropping it in the groove and then I'm gonna water it down and uh, dry it up so I don't want a lot I just want a little bit to add a little bit of depth to all the pink but I wanted to make sure I add that pink color in. And then we're going to go back over it again. I'm going to kick back on Teddy. I'm going to have to email screen yard. She's like, hey, can you look at the choice of who you want to see? I'm loving that clown. I love this clown. Yeah, that crown is amazing. <laughs> right? I hope I can hang on to stuff. No, so many flatter ones.
No, seriously, what is the issue here? Yeah. The rest are going through except for that first one. All right, so I'm going to move on. So, what I'm doing now is adding a little bit of gas in here. So, as soon as I put on the uh, acrylic paint, I'm just doing a quick wash. And it will uh, wash some of the that um, some of your windies off. Is that okay? But it's, it's going to get a little bit of uh, depth as well. Just be careful. Okay. Yeah. Don't put too much on it. And the way you want it to drip, like I want it to drip down right now. But when I do the wing, I'm going to want it to go the other way. So you see, it's getting all the little grooves. And you can use acrylic paint with this, watered down acrylic paint. I like the liquid acrylic because they're as what they say, liquid. <laughs> literally falling off my paintbrush as I put it on. Okay, so now that I have that going that way, I'm going to turn it a little bit. We do these wings. And then let that drip off. And you will be doing several layers, so don't get impatient or be like, this is not looking like you literally are going to be doing several layers uh, with the paint and the Wendy. Once I dry it, then I'll give you a uh, look to see how. Yeah, Nikki, uh, they're saying in chat you sound muted. You do sound different, like. Oh, I do? Yeah, like you've got something covering your mic or something. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I have the box in front of me. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I actually use my computer mic and not my um, camera mic. My computer mic is a sight better than this one. I don't know why. I stole my my daughter's mat, and she want and she not get in the back. I scooted the laptop a little closer, so maybe I can actually read the chat. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna dry this now, and then you'll see the difference. It's not just a plain flat color now has a little bit of more depth. Do you see where you can now see where oh oh lord I'm in squeaky hell <laughs> the squeaky toy sounds distressed <laughs> oh my Jesus Okay, so now that I got the paint and the groove of the uh, resin pieces and of the um, 
uh, different um, pieces I have on here. I'm going to dry it and then we're going to spray again. But we're going to keep and like literally you're going to do two or three, maybe four coats of spray. Oh, I uh -oh. June wants a buzzer. Uh oh. We, we progressed the buzzer. <laughs> Hold on, let me go get go get my spooky toy quartet duo. Okay, I need some Benadryl. Some more hamburger meat. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. We're the vengeance. <laughs> yeah, but you can use this with acrylic paint. You can use this with, if you have like the shakers. Um, but if you use the shakers, I would put the shaker down first, dry it, and then spray over it with Lindy's. And again, if you see puddles and it's not drying, which sometimes happens, just take a cloth and sop it up. And then we're gonna go in here and put a little bit of blues and purples in there. Yeah, there's a couple of spaces that have little puddles that I don't like. And I didn't get that so well. I'm using a different dryer. There goes the pink. Oh. <laughs> okay, see, I'm catching up. That sounds like someone, something in pain. Oh, yeah, my dogs are nuts. Uh, yeah, June, I love the shaker. It gives you a great little base. There goes the pink. Hey. I'm not, no, all the pink's not going. You're still going to see the pink, but I still got to add a little bit of depth, so... I'm gonna, and plus I need to look to see where I'm at. So this is how it's gonna look. For right now. There we go. So I don't want it too much darker because right now the contrast is good, but I do want to add a little bit of color in it. <laughs> You're still going to have your pink. Now we're going to start working the edges. So if I start making it darker, like this color or this color or going in here, it's, everything's just going to blend and you're not going to get any contrast. So it's not going to be too much darker. Gonna, I'm saving the pink. 
This is new for me. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot not to, to go too much darker. <laughs> but I am gonna go get a shaker. Uh, so I'm going to get the ace of copper and the antique bronze uh, lindy shaker. And we're just going to do a, a little bit of shaking. Not a lot. I had to go pick up, grab some chaos for you flowers. Of course you did. You have to have a chance for you. Oh, I don't know where I bought my blue ones. I ordered a bunch of blue ones and I stuck them somewhere. Oh, I'm going to tell you those blue ones. I dug through two boxes and those two boxes didn't have any blue in it. Well, you guys really stocked up on those flowers, didn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is it? I forgot where I put the brown. <laughs> really? Well, that might have been too much. Ooh. So what the shaker does, I have a little bit of acrylic paint down there and I just want to get into a lot of those grooves. Getting rid of the pink, but we're going to drip it down just a little bit, and it's going to give us layers now. So that was the antique bronze. Um, oh, uh, Joanne said from a distance the resin pieces look lace. On um. <laughs> Uh, and Joanne and June are chanting, we want pink. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the last cover going on. I want to put black, but I think black may be too strong. Nikki's going to get up in the morning, and June and Barbara and Joanne are going to be outside in her front yard with big billboards that say, we want pink. <laughs> I actually don't doubt it. <laughs> All right. So you have the pink. It's washed away a little bit, but you see when some of the creases and stuff that we now have the uh I don't know what this is here. And now you can see the definition of the wings, you can see the definition of the resin pieces. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. So once you have that and I use I actually use the ace copper. And then I'm going to use a little bit more. But it's still pink. Hello. Oh, Barbara's a bit closer her eyes. It's going to be pink now. Maybe. 
<laughs> Joanne it should be under there somewhere. Right, Joanne and Barbara are like she's teasing us. <laughs> she said it was gonna be pink. Okay, mommy and Craig are about to go. How are you? Drove it to the thing, God. Love you too. Bye. I should have made some bomb chicken and rice. Are you still on my Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm happy with that. And then I just want to do look okay. at Nikki's violin. Holy shit. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. Who's that? We've gotten a fraction. Hi. Bye bye, Dale. <laughs> that looks good, though. That's okay. I, I, I let that uh, leave sometimes. <laughs> Is this Can I go in? Can I go in? Can I get a webcam? Yeah, sure. There you go. Can you craft? No. Can you use a hot glue gun? Yeah. Without burning yourself? No. Then you'll fit right in. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure you'll all burn. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to dry this up and I'm going to click on Kelly. <laughs> Now I got to find where I did my gesso. Where did I find my gesso? It's not gone yet, Barbara. June said a dollar in the swear jar. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Telly? You can't help children and dogs. <laughs> you never know what they'll do. And the pink's not gone, Barbara. I'll send you a picture so you can see. What? Where are your beading uh, needles go, Penny? June said, I don't see any pink. Oh, wait a minute. You finished your uh, bracelet, around? Yeah, I'm just, I'm separating these beads that got all mixed up inside the container because I'm, I'm OCD. Um, I just have to put the, the button on uh, the loop, the loop on the other end, and then I'm done. Yeah. Oh, okay. As soon as you finish, uh, let me know so I can. I will. I, just, I can't put these away without fixing them. <laughs> She's like me, OCD. I need yeah. to put that first. I think I need to paint the flowers first, then add them to it. And let me say, if y'all were using like regular glue or hot glue gun. This constant spraying and drying would your stuff would come undone. So that's why I um, the mixed media or the gel uh, is the perfect solution. All right. What you doing, Teddy? I have it on you. Gessoing the flowers. And I think I have figured out that I'm going to gesso them before I put them on the violin. Okay. We're going to have to stick them all three of us. Um, I think that would be easier. So, as you notice, there is still pink. You can't see it because of the, the uh, hue, but there is pink. And there is the coral color. And then it has the brown in the background. So now we're going to go back over with the pink. Now that we have a good background and depth in there. I think I still want to dry it a little bit. Let me see how it does on the end. Nope, we're okay. good. I always wanted that middle piece to be pink. Uh oh. Now you know that stuff is stuck on there if I can drop it. <laughs> and nothing falls off. 
right. And then I'm going to dry. Because I don't want to keep uh, spraying and messing up the, uh, the color. I'm going to take this in sections. See? See? Yeah, this is definitely a challenge for me. <laughs> As you all know, because my go-to colors would have been brown, black, blue, dark blue, light blue, <laughs> brown, purple, and dark red, maroon. I tried to get Cassidy to bring the squirrel in here. Oh, I want to see the squirrel. I want to see the squirrel. I'll go get the squirrel. Cassidy. Cassidy. <laughs> squirrel. So we can actually say squirrel and see a squirrel. Right. <laughs> where's Neekin? <laughs> I know. Where's Neekin? It's early enough. Oh yeah, oh. See? See how good this uh burnt orange is looking now? She I think she is in bed asleep. I think that oh. is what it is. That way she gets a squirrel. When you're live late at night is when she's getting ready to go to work. Oh. I'm off to get the squirrel. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh, I'm all off camera. I do want to say, so once you added all those colors and the undertones, and then I sprayed again with the pink, the pink actually looks better, and the burnt orange looks better. Although I do need to add a little bit more of the brown here at the top. Oh my goodness, I'm just like flinging beads everywhere. See, you're so much better. I would have been like, ah, I'll just throw them all in together. Oh no. No, no, no. I don't like my colors mixing. Just drop two in there. And I don't know if any of you y'all use Lindy's. I know June and Jean does, but it takes longer to dry. So just keep it moving and back and forth, back and forth and keep drying. And if you think it's dry, it's probably not. <laughs> Okay, I'll put it away. I'm not even worried about the sides right now. I just want to get the top and then we'll worry about the sides in a minute. Is the squirrel back yet? That burnt I like it. All right, so now I'm going to take the coral and I'll go along this side, and then we're going to end with the pink. You want to be a YouTube star? Oh, wait a minute! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Oh, oh my 
just wants to hide his face. Aww. And how often do you feed him? Every three to four hours. Aww. If your leg does hurt. Aww. I want a squirrel now. They're so cool. <laughs> Are you going to get the rat out of the cage? He's so tiny. I know. You know how old he is? Uh, since his eyes are open, he's got to be at least five weeks. So they drink from a bottle until they're 12 weeks old or drink milk till they're 12 weeks old before they start eating. So the wow. <laughs> he's so, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> <Pretty Aww. sure. laughs> He's so cute. Well, how do you know? <laughs> He's like looking around like, oh, look at all this stuff to play with. <laughs> he likes to climb all over you and get in your hair. <laughs> Aww. Oh, ew. Yeah, I would have a problem with that. <laughs> Probably tickles. But they're so adorable. I love squirrels. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Oh, just woke up to a fuzzy screen. How cute, Victoria. And Penny's like, eee! What is that? It's so stinking cute. June, we now have a pet rat. What? Yeah, we have a pet rat. <laughs> They well, might, how do you have a pet a rat? They might play together really well. A fancy rat got it at Pet Smart. <laughs> oh Lord. It's a girl. Honey says show ratty. I love them. Can you not <laughs> catch the rat? Oh, you gotta hold tight on to her. Hold on to her tail. She'll be take off. <laughs> that one just wants to hide. Uh -huh. yep. They named oh, him Scrap oh. after the Squirrel in the Ice Age movies. Oh, okay. Let's hope he does not bring on the apocalypse. <laughs> right? Scrap. <laughs> Yeah, I like that one in the Ice Age. That's funny. He is starting to want to nibble on things. The scrap, uh, okay, the rat is hiding in the tube so fast that he can't get to her. <laughs> Have one of those cages that has the tubes and tunnels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's like a freaking worm. Yeah, she's hard to hold on to. I know, where are you going? Hmm? Well, I can't get her. <laughs> yeah, that squirrel wouldn't last too long in my house. <laughs> no. With thing one and thing two. <laughs> Say bye bye. Oh, let me click on you real quick. Bye. Aww. Bye bye, squirrel. Bye, bye squirrel. Oh. <laughs> it's like so cute. It is so stinking cute. Uh, no. no rat. <laughs> Sorry, Penny. <laughs> She's still in the tube. <laughs> 
he's like, nope, I'm not coming out of here. Yeah. Uh -uh. Wow, and that's looking amazing, Nikki. Oh, thank you. It's still a little wet and dripping on the bottom. Like these, um, Lindy's shakers, they have brown and the copper, but it also has a blue tint to it. So you'll see a little blue here and there. I'm still wondering, I don't think I'm going to put the, um, rust effect on it. But look, still has the pink, Barbara, June, <laughs> Joanne, because I know Joanne's in the background like, yeah, she said it was going to be pink. She said she was pink. <laughs> but it is wet. So and I know you've seen this on Crystal Show where she's used Lindy and, and has done a heavy project and has yet just of it several times. And then she tried to uh, dry brush it and it didn't work. That's because it's too wet. Um, some of this is dry like, like the wires and stuff, but where the art stones and the resin pieces are, those are still wet. So I can go underneath this there and they're still wet. Yeah. It does take a little bit to dry. So, this will be mostly a three parter <laughs> because of the drying time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the side with the orange, the darker orange, and I'm going to click on Miss Penny. Hi, Miss Penny. Yeah, no. I'm just gessoing the angel wings that have gotten firm enough that I can add the gesso to them. Oh yeah, I like the, the burnt orange on the side. All right, so I'm going to leave it on you and mute. I'm going to take the dogs out because he starts, he, um, the, the puppy starts whining. He doesn't like, Prince used to bark when she had, he had to go out. This one just whines. <laughs> so two whines means it's a warning. And then uh, when it gets to constant whining and looking in your face, that's <laughs> You better take me out or you will pay for it. <laughs> At least she lets you know. Yeah, you, and I had to figure that out because um, I was just like, why is she just always whining? Yeah, now I know. Did you try to train her with a bell? Um, no, because usually it's like, she has a way of letting you know she either stomp she um she's very handsy so she'll go up to you and she will literally fish you i know a lot of people will hang a bell on their back door and the dog will ring the bell <laughs> oh wait a minute hold on it's martha what where hold on martha yeah. we're live so i have you live are you on your way uh -huh. No, I'm not gonna. I'm. I am home, but I cannot get my internet until Tuesday. Oh, she's home, y'all! Yay! That's Kelly and Laurel on there. Hi, Martha. Hello. Welcome home. Hello. When did you leave? Huh? When did you leave? This morning at four a.m. Wow, you made some good time, girly. No well, speeding tickets. <laughs> no speeding tickets. No. Oh, I wow. Can't eat on cruise, baby. Good job. <laughs> you did actually very good then. 
She'll be going live Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right, I'm going to take the dogs out. I'll be right back. I'm so happy she made it home safe. I can see now I'm going to have to dig through some bling. More glue webs. So June, when are you going to release another video? Yeah, I'm Is anybody watching football games or any oh, good movies? And then more earlier, screaming and yelling their full heads off. <laughs> like, why? Why are you torture yourself? My husband always has to watch his cowboys. All right. That can go back where it belongs. Don't with that. Laurel, have you ever used um, Nymo thread? Nemo? Nemo thread? No, but there's a there's a new one out called. Uh, as soon as I said Nemo, it jumped right a uh, a Nano one or something. But I may have some some of that. I'm not sure, but I I don't know. I just prefer this Fireline. I just really like the way it works. I'm gonna have to get some of the Fireline. 
this. And I like it because it comes in different colors, but you can see like this black one. This one is really, well, it's also older. This Was this done with the black too or the green? No, this was done with the black. But it takes a little while for it to get really pliable. But this one's a little bit thicker and I did a bigger tube. So you can see the difference in the sizes. One is, I know nobody can see me right now. That's dumb. I'm sitting here showing it to you. You can't even see me. Um, <laughs> But yeah, this one's uh, a lot bigger tube, but it'll get more pliable as you play with it. But I, I do like the, the three colors. I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not, I should, probably should have used the crystal because these beads are a lot lighter. Although, like I said, once it gets more pliable, the the fishing line will go more inside you won't see it so much it yeah. won't show so much i have all kinds of beads oh my if we let's not discuss it i have a bead store i spent last week i think it was last weekend i sorted all my beads i'm getting ready to sell a bunch of them a bunch of my beads and stuff um and uh some of my jewelry and stuff that I've made. So I just went through and spent two days sorting everything. You must and have kind a lot of beads, then. <laughs> Huh? You must have a lot of beads. <laughs> oh, I said, I have, I literally probably have a bead store. It's, it's insane. Oh I have way more beads than I will ever use in my lifetime. I mean, I started out with bigger beads and I would go to the store and I don't know, it's, you know, that, that crafting hoarder thing, you just look oh. like them. And I, oh, I'll use this for something. I'll use this for something. And before you know it, it's like, oh my God, I don't think I will ever be able to use all these beads ever. And then I got into the seed beads and oh. we won't discuss how many seed beads I have. <laughs> Do you ever watch turtle soup? Um, no. Turtle soup beads? No. Never even heard of it. She does a lot of stuff with clay, but she combines the beads in her clay. She's beautiful jewelry. Yeah. Gorgeous oh, jewelry. Have to, have to check it, out. it looks really, really easy. The stuff that she does is so beautiful. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, nothing I do when when it comes to beading is is simple or easy. It's all very um tedious. I, I that's with all my crafts, so I can't do anything that isn't challenging. It has to be. It ha, it has to be some kind of challenge for me, or I can't do it. I don't know why. I, but I've been that way with my art, my drawing, everything. I can't just draw simple. I have to do these most elaborate drawings and stuff. It's really weird. But I've been that way with everything. I think it's just because of my. Uh, <laughs> My personality, I just constantly have to be doing something all the time. And my mind has to be busy all the time. Oh, wow. Took you a month, Penny, to sort yours? Well, what had happened was I would take out beads for like a project. So I'd go through and I have over 20 things of beads. And one of them, uh, 10 of them hold, have 54 spaces something like that, eight times four, 32, 32 or 36 spaces. Um, so I would pull out a bunch from here and there because I can't have all the totes out and I would put them in a, in a dish. So I had dishes of those laying everywhere. So I literally dumped them all out. And my friends thought I think I'm nuts. I dumped them all out onto this mat and one bead at a time, put it back in what compartment it went, wherever that compartment was. <laughs> and it took me two days. <laughs> It's just uh, an OCD. <laughs> okay, what's the 1013? 1013. Yeah, what is 1013? <laughs> 10 slash 13. Is that on a Friday? October the 13th? Um, it might be because September has one. Just had one. I know December has one because that's my birthday and it'll be Friday the 13th again. Um, let's see if October has one. I don't believe so, but I could be wrong. 
Nope, it's on a Saturday oh, or a Sunday. Okay. It's on a Sunday. Next Sunday. <coughs> this Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday will be the 12th, which would have been my mom's 72nd birthday. Wait a minute. Well, oh, Penny, you may you may have a little more than me, although I have drawer fulls, and yep, I have all these like those containers like everywhere, and then all up here on my desk, I have little containers everywhere. With beads. <laughs> I'm telling you, I could have a bead store. We could have a bead store together for sure. <laughs> Do what? Is she back? I thought I heard Nikki. Yes, I'm back. I'm laughing at y'all. Oh, Peace my God. Uh, Martha said she will probably be live maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Tuesday, she her internet comes back on, but she will be at the bar. <laughs> Oh, the time change is November 6th. Oh. Oh, June, you asked her when she's going to do another video. And she, so next Sunday, I'm guessing she's doing another video. Oh, cool. Who is? Oh, good. Uh, uh, Penny said, you and I, Laurel, you and I would get on fine. Do you always like to buy uh, the half pound or larger seed beat mixes? And yeah, seed I. Penny, that's what I just did. When all these beads were laying here, that's what I was telling Nikki. I'm very picky about my beads because I have a problem with sizes. And like my bracelet, they all have to be the same size. I don't like a big one and a small one and a big one. Yep, I will sit and sort, sort them all by color and size. All my, um, like kind of like the Swarovski beads, the diamond ones, I have ones probably in 30 different sizes and colors, and they all have to be separated. They can't be together. So it's finished if you wanna see it real quick, Nikki. Okay. Unless you're doing something, we can wait. Oh, I'm not in a rush. So there, I put it on. So I just put a little uh, metal button on it. I always buy um, little buttons for the clasps, at least on this type, but it turned out nice. It's a lot uh, chunkier than the other one, but like I was um, telling Telly, I'll show you. Um, let me get it off here. Um, this one's really pliable, you know, really bendy. This one's a little bit stiffer, probably because it's um, bigger. I did a uh, bigger tubing down the center, so, but as, um, as it gets moved around, it'll get more pliable. You know, as you play with it and wear it, it gets more pliable. But yeah, it turned out really pretty. I had to show Jimmy's comment. See how all the beads have to be the same size? <laughs> they all have to be the same. They can't be too, the skinny ones, you know, not for this at least. But yeah, it turned out really nice. I like it. Oh, Amy said she loves the uh, button rail. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like these hollow ones. They just look really, really pretty on, so. Oh, yeah. Nikki, three infractions. Laurel, Zippo. Yeah, I, I love that. Look, look on the, uh, the screen yard. <laughs> How did I get three infractions? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way she put it up on the she put it up on the screen. <laughs> and, but the funny thing is that Crystal's not even here. Crystal nine three. <laughs> well, that's too funny. Okay, so I decided to go ombre. Oh, on the yeah, uh, back on you. Decided to go ombre on the. Um, on I the think it looks really cool. So hopefully it'll dry that way. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a start. So the thing, and I'm gonna click on Telly after this because there's really not much more I can do until this whole entire thing dries again. So if you're using. Oh sprays and Lindy's and gesso and everything like it's not coming apart because I use the um uh the soft matte gel 
So if you're going to be doing stuff like this, I recommend getting this, letting it dry overnight, and then do all your spraying. Um, nothing's falling off, nothing's loose. Um, I got my base. I'm happy with that. I may go back over it with a little bit of uh, the brown once all this dries once again. And then once it dries, then that's when you'll do your, your just up, your dry brushing. And that's going to bring out a lot of this detail. And if you want to, um, you can put another uh, line on it. I have the crate down here just on the um, chin rest. And I did the um, side. They're colored. And that's going to be a little bit darker to match the um, uh, canvas. So now we're going to take a look and see if we need to do anything else with this for the canvas. Because I don't want it to be too dark or too blendy. So, so here's the canvas. Oh, Hold it out a little bit. So this is still the feature focal point, which is good. And once I do the dry brushing, it's going to bring out all that detail and make it a, a, a bigger focal point. And then I'll take some sepia um, or brown or um, sort of like a tan acrylic to go around the edges to bring in the um, color a little bit. But that's pretty much it. I still want to do something with the canvas, but I'm not sure if I need to. I may, you know what I may do? I may take some um, colored, um, uh, colored texture paste and put some music notes on it. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Okay, back on Sally. Thank you, Miss June. <laughs> June said, oh, that's what the, oh. <laughs> June said my infraction is burning myself and keeping it secret. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, and if you like it lighter, you can do the lighter colors. Like, this will look gorgeous in the purples and, and stuff that Laurel does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or if you want to even do it darker and do a black base and go over it with the metallic, that will look gorgeous as well. So. But I'm proud. I kept in line with the colors. So I have done the challenge with the three colors. Yay. I love this stuff. It's gorgeous. Oh, let's click on you. It's the Inca gold. Yes. But... I have one major issue with it. Uh -oh. It does not smell good at all. No, it does not. It doesn't it smell like the vanilla smell. It stinks. It stinks <laughs> terrible. Uh oh. So I got to get me some gold finavere. Uh, okay. Um, I'll have to smear it, smear the finavere under my nose while I'm using this. <laughs> I don't have the Inca Gold. I have, think I have the Art C. And the Art C actually just smells like wax. It doesn't even uh, smell that um, bad. You know, I was going to get the Art C one at Michael's, but they didn't have it. Uh we still carry it. I was very disappointed with my Michaels. Oh my God. So we have two Michaels and one of the ones that uh, they're redoing it. And it seems like they didn't have anything. Like I just found the Katana tool. They had one. So yeah, that's usually all they have hanging up there is one. Oh, well, I'm glad I found it. <laughs> there was, I was it, it took me like 20 minutes to find it. Joanne said she loves both violins. Yeah, they they look amazing. I know. I love I love that crown. Um, like I'm obsessed with the crown right now. <laughs> Let's see. 
I don't think I'm going to mess with this anymore. I say that as I mess with it. Right. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have to pour some resin pieces. I like the clay, but yeah, I, I, I'm for some reason I just like the resin. I like the clay, but I'll use clay for different, uh, different um, scenarios. But for stuff like this, I, I actually actually prefer the resin. Yeah. Now, um, Crystal's a ma uh, magician with the clay. Like she did, um, those masks that she did, she did it with clay. Well, I think I have done about all I can do for now. Okay. You want to bring it up close to the camera? I have a lot more to add to it and a lot more to do to it. Yeah. That was, oh my God, that looks so beautiful. It does. It looks gorgeous. God, I love it. I love that clear. Two completely I'm different styles. Out my style. <laughs> right? What That's is good. that? What did you do underneath the strings there, Tully, in the center? I uh, added an applique. I was going to say that looks like an applique. <laughs> I didn't know if you just did like a clay piece and beads or what. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I lost the bead and it's rattling around now inside the violin. <laughs> That's the music piece. <laughs> well, see, and that's why I like having um, different um, uh, people on doing the same project. Me and Crystal have always said that. That's why we like doing shows together and doing the same project because we get those two different views. Um, Joanne, Joanne would like to know what those flowers are made of, Joanne. These, these plastic. Oh, let me click on you. The flowers up here are some of the KS for you flowers, and then these like this one right here it's it's a plastic pearl flower oh. but i painted gesso over it everybody i have these plastic ones in three different sizes thank you ladies <laughs> it's not nowhere near done <laughs> oh yeah. So we uh so uh, I don't know when uh we're gonna plan for some time during the week. Um because you know once you get that inspiration you want to, to keep on going. Um this uh oh wait a minute, Amy has a question, I'm showing it on the thing. Where did you get the plastic pearl flowers? AliExpress. <laughs> you should get your Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Jean. And Post. Thank you, Jean. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. Okay. That goes up. Go down. So, and Joanne. These flowers, I find one that I did tear the bling off of. Oh, let me put them in. I'll show you one of the ones that's uh, still intact. Oh, wow. Those are cute. I think I 
sent some to Crystal. Barbara said it needs pink. <laughs> yeah. I may have to add just a touch of pink in amongst the blue somewhere. <laughs> of course it needs pink. <laughs> and blue. <laughs> well, Esme had some of these same flowers, only hers had the white pearls. And this has a gray, a brown, and a pink pearl in it. And the ones Esme had had all white pearls. And I found these on Allie and I was like, Those are really pretty. I like the ones that I got from Esme. Those are pretty colors though. Gray, brown, and pink. Yes, Maybe they are. Yes, they are. Actually, it's kind of a blue gray. I was going to say, it looks blue on here, like yeah. a steel blue. It does. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should good. have left them intact and go with those colors for the violin. I might do that. Add some brown and pink in, in amongst the blue. Don't let Barbara uh, guilt trip you into pink. Clam bake beige. <laughs> <laughs> if Barbara had it her way, everything would be pink. <laughs> In there, right, Barbara? Yeah, it, it. This is a project that takes some time because it's mixed media and it's a lot of different mediums involved. You definitely have to um, set it and forget it, which is what I find difficult, but am learning. <laughs> So, um, so we're going to do part three. So I should be, um, this should be dried and pretty much it's just, oh, there's Martha. Yay, Martha. Martha. Martha's there. Wow. Awesome, Martha. What did you have to do to get your internet on so quickly? I think she's using her phone. Are you using you're using your phone, right, um, Martha? Oh no, she got internet on. Wow. Okay. That means she's going live tomorrow, right? <laughs> she said she's very happy to be home. We're very happy you're home. Yes, we are. Home, safe, and sound. Yeah, I'm very sure your 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 father appreciated you being there. So even though it was kind of difficult being away from home. Yeah, that was hard when you live far away from your parents. Yeah, yeah I live 12 hours. All right, so I'm going to do a close up. So I'm going to bring the camera down and. Um, because it's still a little wet. <laughs> there we go. A lot going on. Gorgeous. <laughs> so, um, so the brown um, from the Lindy Shaker and his bronze has a little bit of blue. So as it starts to dry and it's wet a little bit, you'll find little hints of blue in there. But yeah, can we see it laying on the canvas, Nikki, just to see what it looks like? Yeah, and that canvas is gorgeous. Yeah, I try to keep it lighter than the coffee. Wow. That's pretty. Good job. Thank you. Is that your grandchild? Yes, that's Chloe. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> oh, that's the Stranger that's Danger. Nikki. That's Nikki. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Chloe. I have to make her a unicorn. Beautiful, color. isn't it? It really is. Okay. How did you make that? Teach me. 
Tell <laughs> <laughs> your mom to go back and rewind the video from yesterday. <laughs> you can watch her video from yesterday. Okay, let me. Um, oh, you're, you're in a different spot, so. Well, this is mine. So this is what it's going to look like on the canvas. That's what she started out with. But that looks amazing, Nikki. Yeah, so you want to keep it lighter, but with the same colors, and it's actually going to be a little bit lighter because uh, once everything dries, you're going to dry brush it with gesso. So you'll see where the highlights are going to come out. And if need be, and I need to pink up these parts right here, then I'll go ahead and lay down some maybe um, uh, a pink shaker and get some pink down there. But you can see the um, this is the burnt orange, this is the pink, the coral, and then the burnt orange, the ombre, and then um, pink and burnt orange on either side. So I mean, you bring it down a little bit so you can get a closer look. And I'll post a picture of it. A tiny one. Uh, I'm manipulating. There we go. The addition. Bye, Nikki. Bye. Bye, Chloe. The addition of the chicken wire was awesome. Yes, it was. That that was a good. I think I got. I think someone sparks. I think it was maybe Amy. Amy always sparks my creativity. She's like my little muse. <laughs> She'll say something and be like, "Hi, hey, Shirley. Yeah. Hey, Shirley. Hi, Shirley." So uh, take this off. Still a little wet. I don't want to get the cameras too 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 wet yet. So there we go. And I've never done steampunk in a pink, coral, and orange, but I kind of like it. Yeah, it looks awesome. It is and, very awesome. And I'm still debating the rust effects. So we'll see. <laughs> and everything is stuck. So I can hold this by the uh, resin pieces. It's not coming off because I allowed it to dry. <laughs> so I am stressing that. If you hear me say it over and over again, what you will get out of this video is let it dry. Let it dry. <laughs> In the paint next day, let it dry. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's the key. I'm just learning this. It's like the camera. <laughs> yes, but I'm liking pink. Oh, Amy said, "Ha ha ha!" Did on here, Nikki. You know, I'm telling you, Amy, you'll say something and be like, "Bam!" I have an idea. <laughs> I do have to glue this back down on the side because, um, and when I say um, I did not use the um, the matte gel to glue the chicken wire down, so this is an example of I glued it with the hot glue and with all that medium, it is now coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and use the gel medium to get that to adhere back down. So that is a prime example. Stuff will come up with the hot glue. Yep. Oh, Jean says I would. Uh, yeah, I I have it out, and I'm definitely. I was looking to see if I had any of the um, the coordinating color um, to go with the pink and the coral, because I think this is too much of a harsh color to go with this. And they do have like oat wall or uh, the light blue, white, and another color in rust effect. So I'm going to um, pull out both and see what it looks like. But I do think that may be a little bit too harsh as far as going with it. So I'm going to experiment a little over the next couple of days. So I think. Um, Penny says you are no longer craft impatient. I Thank you, Penny. I am working on it. Well, there are still some things I'm craft and patient about, and one of them is craft is companion. So, yeah. HSN has my my soul <laughs> when it comes to craft is companion. So, um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to let this dry. Um, Kelly, uh, 
whenever you're ready to do your second part, let me know. Okay. So this will dry overnight. So I'm going to gather together my bling and my resin and keep wanting to add seashells to it. Yeah. <laughs> of course. But we have something else for seashells, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. I'm telling you, y'all, I have to say, I have to quit this. This is bothering me. <laughs> um, I have so many seashells, though. I may have to do lots of seashell crafts. <laughs> uh -oh. So, I, and I'm I'm going to spark the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The interest. So, we are going to do a mannequin after the violin. And, of course, you know, to see things being done two different ways, I do like that. So we are going to do a uh, um, uh, crystal and um, myself, and we're going to do three different versions of a standing mannequin. And so we're kind of bouncing back ideas back and forth. And Kelly tells us her idea, and we're like, burn it. Wish I thought of that. <laughs> So she has an absolute phenomenal idea for her mannequin. And y'all are going to want to do her version, I'm telling you. <laughs> so yes, we will. I will definitely, as I'm gathering my supplies uh, for Amy, I will definitely write down what I'll be using. And uh, Kelly, if you want to write down where you'll be using and where you got it, then that way, okay. as we're doing it, we can post it in, in the um, in the chat, in the group, or on the uh, description. Okay. And that way, if they want to do it, um, they can find the mannequins um, at the store. Big Saps, there we have them. Um, and um, and I think we have, what, four or five left? Because there's a couple of them that um, have flown out the door already. Um, so we have about four or five left. And if we need to get more, then just let us know. Um, but yeah, so we're all done for the day. I think this, this is a good time. It was only three hours or so. How long was it? Two hours and 43 minutes. Hey. All right. So are you still going to do the face of the lady on the camera? Uh, forgot what I was going to do. I may, I'm looking for the second, I have two rice papers, so I may go over it with the rice paper. I'm seeing if I still have the second one somewhere. Um, if not. It really doesn't make a difference. You can see the face uh, close up. <laughs> so, um, and you'll see it once uh, um, I show a picture of it. It probably doesn't show up uh, good on ca on camera, but it does on um, a picture and in person. And yeah, Penny, we know you love seashells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, I just wanted to thank Miss uh, Tilly and Miss Laurel. Um, Laurel has a beautiful, beautiful um, bracelet that I think I'm gonna have to don my black gear and make a trip. <laughs> Gorgeous bracelet. In my uh, key, uh, unlocking key kit or whatever. Just put it someplace where I can see it visually when I come in and see I, it. I, I'll do that, Nikki. <laughs> Uh, uh, beautiful bracelet always. Well, everything you do is freaking gorgeous. So, uh, oh, thank you. And she does so much: padding, beading, uh, mixed media, cards, junk journal, sewing. Um, am I forgetting anything? Oh, um, she draws. Hello, beautiful Elvis pictures and other pictures. Um, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. <laughs> Crocheting. Yep, and crochet. Crochet. So uh, if you um, don't know her channel, um, let me see if I can post it in here. Hold on. But I think everybody that's here goes through her channel, but this is for people that will catch me on the on the other side. I will post your link in here. Oh, you, yeah, you can post it in there, but. Thank yeah. you for having me, Nikki. It was so fun two days. It kept me busy and got me done with something I needed to do. 
just to show some beads. Yes, and I love those beads. Oh my gosh. Oh, quilling. Yes, quilling too. Oh, Thank yeah, you. that's right. You do do quilling. Okay. Oh, thank you, Joanne. All right, that's her channel. Um, so if you want to go check her out, please do feel free. Um, she's on pretty much every Friday, I believe. Between sometimes she'll go on early at six, six thirty, and then seven. But most of the times it's pretty set at seven on Fridays. Correct. Yep. Yep. And uh, yes, I've been learning a lot going to the channel. Uh, Miss Talise does not have a channel, but you can see her on Disorganized Crafter at times. You can see her on um, Rustic Ink Angel at times. And as always, um, appreciate y'all being here. And Thank we you. Welcome Miss uh, Martha back. Congratulations. You are back and you are safe. And I um, hope uh, we'll be seeing you soon, Martha, tonight, tomorrow. Hey. I. And just from a little birdie that was on the telephone, Martha, she told me she has some stuff to show us. I'm just saying. <laughs> she has some stuff to show. Yep, three boxes of rummage goodies, and I can't wait to see them. And if any of y'all have not seen Martha before, that, that lady can rummage her butt off and find stuff for like 50 cents. She found me a camera that I am currently using for five bucks. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Oh, she said laughing, not tonight. <laughs> All right, ladies. Y'all have a nice Sunday. And I will post, um, like I said, it'll probably be Tuesday night or Wednesday when we go back on to do part three for the violin um, to give um, to at least a couple of days to get to get all her um, um, objects and, and stuff together, beads and lace and um resin pieces looking forward to seeing both of them finish they're both amazing ladies and thanks again for having me on i hope you all have a great week rest of your sunday and a wonderful week yeah have a wonderful week y'all and have a good night and i'm sure telly will so tell you the same i think the hubby is talking to her again hello hubby <laughs> and so she'll tell you the same but have a great night and have a great week thank you for coming <laughs>